going on guys welcome to another video and in this one um, I just want to talk a little bit about Elden Ring and just my general thoughts overall and just basically how good the game is um, I literally just beat it about 10 15 minutes ago so um, excuse me if a lot of my points are non-linear or anything because it's all I'm just all trying to do it off of the dome just to give you my thoughts that I can think of so let's get right into it. Um, just to preface this, I have beaten every single Souls game, including uh, Demon Souls, the remake, um, Dark Souls 1, Dark Souls 2, Dark Souls 2, Scholar of the First Sin, Dark Souls 3, Bloodborne, and Sekiro, and now this. I've beaten them all, and I've beaten them multiple times, so just so you know. But I do want to come on and just talk about my issues and my favorite things about the game. Because I think this game is easily a 10 out of 10 game. It is extremely good. There's just a, a, uh, a few small issues that I have with the game that I overlook. I can actually overlook because the game is that good. So I do want to just preface this by saying this. It is not a perfect game, but it is a very, very good game. Um, so the, let's talk about things that I like first off. Uh, the first thing I like a lot about this game is the combat. Um, the combat is super, super good. It feels exactly like um, a, your classic Souls game. Um, it's extremely satisfying uh, killing um, super big bosses or mini bosses or what have you. Um, this game is just super satisfying to play. The movement is really, really good as well. Um, running around and doing things with... Just, just running around and uh, killing big bosses and the movement that you can use. Like you can jump now, crouch, and sneak. The movement is just makes the game that much better. Like there's just so many different things that you wouldn't be able to do had they not have uh, done a lot of the things that they did without implementing the jump. The jump was a super good thing. There's a lot of fun parkour things you can do with the jump. Um, sneaking, you can get the jump on opponents, and sneaking actually has benefits as you get more damage when a mob doesn't notice you. So if you sneak up on an enemy, you you will get even more bonus damage off of that besides just the backstab. So you actually have an extra damage backstab, which is really, really fun and really, really cool. Um, the story is extremely, extremely good with this game. Um, going around, um, you have to get all the or you have to get the the shards of the Elden thing, you know, to become the Elden Lord. That's pretty much the story. Uh, there's different endings um, to the game. I did one of them. I don't know exactly what the other ones would be, but I don't want to spoil anything, so we're just going to leave it at that. So there are tons of replay value just for endings alone if you want all, all of them. Uh, another thing, the world is super, super vast and super, super interesting and just fun to navigate and explore. There's tons of hidden secrets um, in every single area of the game. Super, super cool that they did that. I really like a lot of the areas. And it just feels really, really good exploring these things. Um, all these together like help make like help the game in ways that I we couldn't even really you know fathom because like an open world Dark Souls game has been a dream come true and now that we finally have it it is just super satisfying to navigate like just explore the the wild and just try to f find secret things like there's a ton of secret bosses and uh, mini bosses and things that you could kill for fun or just or whatever you feel like doing um this game has a lot of of freedom to it. That's something that I really, really like to it as well, is this game has a ton of freedom. If I don't want to go fight the first boss, I don't have to go fight the first boss. I can go around and explore um, and do a bunch of uh, dungeons, tiny dungeons, or other things like that. There's also NPC cut, uh, side quests that are really fun to do. Um, some, of my fa some of my favorite NPCs that are actually in this game. So that's, that's always fun to... Um, talk about um i think just brief that's pretty much all my things that i think that this game is really good on um there is more obviously but i just want i'm trying to just keep it off of the off the cuff like i'm not really trying to uh, 
I'm not really trying to spoil anything, so I'm just going to leave it at that. Um, it's very brief, but it is what it is. Um, but let's talk about some of the bad, because there is a tiny bit of bad, um, especially if you play on the PC port. So speaking about the PC port, um, straight up, it fucking sucks. It's terrible. Um, and the reason why I say that it's terrible is that... Um, the game will randomly, um, in certain areas, especially in the very, very first one, right after the, tu the tutorial, will your frames will just drop to like below 10, regardless of how powerful your PC is. Um, it's really annoying, but like, especially when you're fighting a boss, which it can happen while fighting bosses. It's happened to me before. Um, so keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, it's just annoying. Um, you can look past it because it doesn't happen a super ton of the, like a lot of the time. But even if you lower your graphics, like mine are lowered to as low as possible, just so it happens as less as or as minimum, like just not as much. You know what I mean? Like I just don't want that to happen um, because it's annoying and nobody nobody wants their game to freeze up like middle of a boss duel. Like you can see in the gameplay, my game is stuttering a little bit. Like that, I think most people can look over. It's not that big of a deal. But when you're in the middle of a big boss fight, I don't think anybody wants to um, ha lag out. Or not lag out, but just have a frame drop so bad to where it's like the game like becomes almost just frozen. It will literally freeze, which has happened to me too. Like the game will freeze mid things, causing me to have to all F4, things like that. But it doesn't happen very often, and I think I only had to Alt F4 off of this game like once or twice. You really don't have to. Um, you really don't have to worry about your game like completely crashing um, very much. It can happen, and let it be known, I beat this game doing every single side quest and little thing that I could find, and I played this game for 60 hours total. So keep that in mind as well. Like I put a lot of time into this game. Um, so uh, obviously i think i know what i'm talking about when it comes to this like i probably had to all f4 like realistically like three times um because it'll either like freeze when you're in a menu or or not like in a menu but in like a loading screen it can freeze like things like that you know but it's not like super it's not like the end of the world um another issue that i have with the pc port is a lot of like key binds will display in um xbox show like it'll show xbox stuff so like for instance if we open up the menu as you can see it says okay is a and close is b that's not actually what it is for me in fact um my back is q and my except is e so they don't actually tell you give you the right prompts when it's like oh talk to this character it'll tell you the wrong thing so an easy fix for that is um to just play it on controller which even then i was having a little bit of issues with it because um my controller has a stick drift that's not the game's fault but it has terrible input lag um which is really annoying um my brother didn't actually get this but i got it like what seemed to be terrible like terribly i was getting like the worst um input delay it was so annoying um like other than that i don't really think there is anything necessarily bad um another the only like thing that i can i'll complain about is that the map can get really confusing as to like where you're supposed to go and what i mean by that is like i could open them i'm gonna open the map for you guys um i'm not gonna spoil anything by clicking on anything but this points down okay so this pointer right here goes to this bonfire which points to this so it's like okay i need to go here then go here 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 makes sense right well this whole area right here if i'm not mistaken um is pretty just it just doesn't mean anything uh especially like right here so okay i'm gonna give you a little tip for people who are new to the game or whatever um right here this is a fort that you need to go to to continue the story um and get to one of these upper areas if i can show you really quick right here you need to get into this area right here okay this whole area right there you need to get there um but they don't tell you to go to that fort ever ever do they tell you to go to it as you can see like not a single summit not a single um pointer is pointing there 
not one and th there's pointers pointing down here like it shows you oh you can splinter off you can even go here here whatever right right here like this area is completely optional you do not have to go here at all not in the whole entire game so why are there arrows there um i don't know this whole area optional this area i don't think is optional depending on like what story i think maybe depending on like what story or ending you're going for they might not be like but here's another another thing like i wish what they would do is if you completed an area like let's say i went from here to here i wish that arrow would disappear because then i know that oh i don't really need to follow this path anymore because it just like when they all jumble together like this it's very hard to understand um where i need to be at so i think that's that's honestly like one of my biggest gripes with the game is that it's kind of hard to understand like where to go sometimes uh but yeah that's pretty much it with uh all my issues um if there's any more positives i think the horse functions really really well um it's a lot of fun to run around on your horse in this game um, extremely fun if you ask me i think it adds a whole new element to dark souls games that we desperately needed um but yeah and another thing that i want to talk about is like there are some weapons in here like if you want to make this game easy if you're a new player you easily can the sword i'm using right now i'm not going to tell you what it's called and i'm not going to tell you how you get it but it is extremely extremely powerful and it made a lot of it made the majority of all the bosses of this game absolutely like fodder like i'm talking i'm first trying almost every single boss of the game the only bot like end game boss that i wasn't able to end game like one tap like one go was the final final boss um other than that uh yeah i don't think i think the building like build crafting is really really good you can make a lot of fun builds with this game um, a lot of the mobs are super cool and interesting. They they are un really, really unique. Um, but that's pretty much everything I have to say about the game. If I do have anything to say uh, about like a rating, I would say this game is easily a nine, uh, like a really high nine to even a 10 out of 10. This game is extremely good, especially if you're, especially if you're a Souls fan. Um, this game is extremely good for people who really, really like Souls games. Um, even, and if you haven't played a Souls game, it is a little bit harder to get into. The first boss is extremely challenging, especially if you've never ha played a Souls game before. But I promise you, like once you get past it, you're, it's going to get a lot more fun from then on. Uh, but that's pretty much everything that I can really think of when it comes to Elden Ring. Again, this was all off the cuff. Like very, I didn't write a script or anything, as you can probably tell. Um, I just wanted to run around here and just kind of explain my final thoughts of the game because overall I think this game is very, very good and quite possibly from software's best game of, they've ever made. Um, I do recommend playing the game, but do understand if you are playing it on PC, it's going to be a little bit worse than if you were going to play it on a console. Um, I don't know how the PlayStation 4 and old Xboxes uh, ports play, but um, I think the PlayStation 5 and the new the Xbox Series X or whatever um, play this game just fine as far as I, I've seen. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I got, guys. Um, uh, if you like the video, um, please leave a like. Um, it really helps the channel grow. Uh, also, consider a subscription. That also helps the channel grow. And uh, the last thing I really have to say, uh, if you have any um, disagreements or want to add anything else, um, leave an opinion, your opinions in the comments. I would love to hear them. And uh, we can start a, a pretty good, insightful conversation about it. Um, but, yeah, guys, that's pretty much all I have for today. Um, and, yeah, thanks for watching. Peace.